Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X-T20 and Fujifilm X-T2. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X-T20 and the Fujifilm X-T2 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 18th of January 2017 and the 7th of July 2016. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T20. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T20 and the Fujifilm X-T2. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T20. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T2. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T20. I recently used the incredibly capable Fuji interchangeable lens camera and was blown away by its image quality, low light performance, and fast touchscreen. The build quality is good, but there are a few minor cons such as battery life and screen lag. Overall, I highly recommend this camera for its small size, power, and exceptional image quality. I absolutely love the X-T20 camera. It has everything I wanted from the X-T2, plus a few extra features like touchscreen focusing, the size and manual control dials are perfect for me, and the film settings and double exposure feature are great bonuses. The only downside was the disappointing packaging from Amazon, Overall, I highly recommend this camera to both beginners and professional still shooters. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T2. Fujifilm's X-T2 mirrorless digital camera with a 35mm f2xf lens is the perfect combination of portability and power. The camera's ergonomic design makes it comfortable to use, and its image processing capabilities result in stunning, post-processing free JPEGs. The weather-sealed body adds a layer of protection, and the option the Fuji X-T2 camera reignited my passion for photography. After years of relying on my iPhone for everyday shots, I was dreading lugging around my heavy DSLR on a trip. But the X-T2 felt like it belonged in my hands right away, and shooting with it was so much fun. I paired it with the kit lens and was blown away by the results. It made me excited and passionate about photography again, and I can't wait to capture more amazing photos on future travels. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X-T20 We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Fujifilm X-T2 we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 